Cargo hauling scales with size, and those that are serious about this trade need a ship that will match their needs. Welcome Immortals, I'm Vici Deum, here to go over the top 5 best cargo ships under $200. But don't forget to sub up to keep up since we're starting right now. Number 5. Freelancer why mess with perfection? Boasting unrivaled dependability and customization options, MISC's Freelancer is the go-to ship for both independent haulers and large corps dealing in smaller jobs. The Freelancer is an excellent, well-equipped cargo hauler, offering a considerable 66 SCU broken up between its rear and midsection holds. It is an affordable platform that is easily soloable, but with multi-crew potential, offering room for four, each with their own bed that doubles as an escape pod, and has modest but welcome accommodations with both an onboard bathroom and small kitchenette. When cargo hauling, the Freelancer defends itself with four size 3 pilot guns, a turret gunner, and eight missiles, and protects itself under two size 2 shields, giving it strong staying power. So if it is outgunned, it has time to spool up its quantum and make an escape. Escape. The Freelancer is a strong platform with excellent money making potential for any player starting out. For these reasons, using the Freelancer for cargo hauling is number 5. Number 4 Cutlass Black. Isn't it time that you had a ship that lets you be you? That's the Cutlass Black, a ship with nothing but potential, a ship that can be anything to anyone. Each black is as individual as the person who owns it. No one will mistake your machine for anybody else's. And that's how it should be. The Cutlass Black offers one of the best values for players getting started with cargo hauling or upgrading for this role from any of the starter ships. By offering 46 SCU, a convenient rear loading ramp, and an open interior design, lets players easily load both cargo containers and a variety of small ground vehicles. And even if the back is fully loaded, two side doors provide easy access, especially when in space, so players can load this ship quickly no matter what it's carrying or where it's located. Further, this ship comes with a built-in tractor beam, which will be incredibly useful when fully implemented, especially after physicalized cargo increases the time associated with this profession. In tandem with all this utility, the Cutlass brings a size 2 shield, 4 size 3 pilot weapons, a turret gunner, and 16 missiles to any engagement, ensuring it's no easy target. And with a size 2 quantum drive, 360,000 liters of hydrogen, and 2,500 liters of quantum fuel means you have more than enough capability to kickstart a career in cargo. For these reasons and more, using the Cutlass Black for cargo hauling is number 4. Number 3. Freelancer Max. The Freelancer Max is for those who prize increased cargo capacity over everything else. Combine that additional storage with MISC's unrivaled dependability, and you can see why the Max is the preferred transport for many independent haulers in the Empire today. The Max loses none of the internal amenities or utility of the base Freelancer, but nearly doubles its cargo capacity from 66 SCU to 120 by widening its rear section cargo hold at only the cost of some agility in the process. But this sacrifice is well worth it, not only for the increased cargo carrying capacity, but the versatility in its design. Unlike the base Freelancer, which can only hold a limited number of hover bikes and small ground vehicles, the Max can carry a much larger assortment due to the wider rear ramp and spacious interior, offering a variety of cargo options for the player and increased profits in turn. The Max is an excellent choice for anyone looking to get serious with hauling, and has long been one of the preferred cargo carriers in the Star Citizen community. For these reasons, using the Max as a hauler is number 3. Number 2. 
Constellation Taurus. Enjoy the adventure of a multi-crew constellation. On a budget, the Constellation Taurus is a dedicated freighter, fully configurable, but without all the bells and whistles. The Taurus is an excellent platform for solo cargo hauling or getting started with multi-crew shipping. The 174 SCU is located in a mid-section, elevator-operated cargo hold, allowing convenient drive-through loading with the ability to accommodate the largest number and size of vehicles on this list. Further, the Taurus has six of its SCU in a shielded hold at the rear of the ship and pairs a bottom turret tractor beam for even more versatility. So no matter what you're picking up, you've got the right ship for the job. And protecting that cargo are four size four pilot guns, 24 size two missiles, a twin size two turret, and a behemoth. 100,000 hit point shield, ensuring you're able to reach the drop off on time every time. For these reasons, using the Taurus for cargo hauling is number two. Number one, Hull B. The Hull B is a more rugged option, most often compared to MISC's own Freelancer. But where the Freelancer is equipped for long-range exploration and other roles, the Hull B is a pure cargo transport, offering an astronomical 384 SCU of cargo capacity distributed along telescoping spindles in its midsection. And while its stats are still being developed, using the released Hull A for comparison means this ship won't have nearly the combat performance or capability defenses like others on this list, but what it does offer in exchange is the most cargo capacity out of any ship under $200. In fact, it has nearly the same cargo capacity as every other ship on this list combined, and may offer even more by the time the ship is finally released. With that cargo carrying capacity, the Hull B is going to dominate long haul safe space travel offering the captain incredible money-making potential to save up and buy anything they desire. For these reasons, using the Hull B for cargo hauling is number one. But what do you think about this list? And which ship would you pick? I would go for the Constellation Taurus for its versatility in cargo carrying and incredible defenses, allowing it to operate in more dangerous spaces or without escort in safe space. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you immortals would like to join me atop Mount Olympus, I've created an org and discord. It's an incredible, inclusive community for both old backers and new players alike like. Links in the video description. Either way, thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It's incredibly helpful for me and my channel, and I would really appreciate it. Thank you, and I look forward to seeing all of you out there in the verse.